What's up guys, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just bought myself something. It's an inflatable lounger chair in blue. Got this one from Great Home. You know, have some Great Home products and liked them. Just thought I'd check these out because, you know, you're probably gonna use these things for like going outside and chilling out. Maybe they're more for kids, but you know what? I don't care. I don't care that it might be taboo for a, a dude to use these. Comes in this little nylon bag. It looks kind of like tent nylon material. And basically you can set up uh, like a little lounge chair and chill in it. And you know, it's pretty cool for the outdoors, you know, instead of having an Adirondack chair or a patio chair. But I was also thinking, you know, you're in, in, in the house watching your big game. You've got some guests over, there's limited seating. Instead of just chilling on the ground, Maybe you could fill it up with air and chill on it and it's probably really comfortable. Now, I just unwrapped it here and it's pretty long, but what's interesting is this top has like a dry sack rigid piece. I think it's actually metal or something in there. It's a, it's a flat piece and this is it has a buckle right here that holds it closed. So what you do is instead of blowing it up, oh, looks like you've got another release right there. So. You actually have to push down this and these to get it open. You kind of scoop air. I, I don't actually remember what they call them in survival, but it's got lots of black nylon and then blue nylon on this side. And there's also a lounger that's a really long one. I picked one of those up too. I thought I'd maybe compare them, but you kind of open up this end like a dry bag and you can see it's lined with plastic. I mean, and it just feels like garbage bag plastic, but it's clear, obviously. And then you just try to scoop air without looking like a moron. Part of me says it's actually not, you know, just about the amount of air you get into it, but it's actually kind of how tightly you roll it. So what I did here is I actually rolled that front end up quite a bit tighter to kind of take the air I had and compress it. And that seemed to work pretty well. Um, you know, a couple things, you're gonna have a yaw issue. You know, it's just an inflatable chair. So if you're leaning one side or the other heavily, you're gonna roll out of the thing, but I guess I didn't actually need to try and spin and get myself as dizzy as I did <laughs> by trying to get the max amount of air. You just need to get it to shape and then quick kind of close that end and roll it up just like a dry bag and then buckle it over. And in fact, you know, using the roll and closing it up to a small piece, you know, small size as you can is kind of the key because you want to get as many rules as possible to make sure it's airtight. So this definitely would work for kind of an impromptu chair, I think, you know, inside or outside. And because it's air, it is like kind of being in a hammock or on an airbag or an air mattress. It's pretty comfy. Check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Von Panda out.